Hello viewers, today we will be unboxing two rare cordless telephones, both 900 megahertz. Well, we'll start with this one. This is an EX. 965. This is uh, one of the models that I've been searching for for a very long time and uh, it's a really neat phone. It's two line, it is digital and um, it's, it's just a really cool phone. It is an extender phone. So let's get the base out here. I believe this comes complete with the manual actually. Well, I don't want to call for certain. Turn out to make a mess with all these pills here. Here's the battery. Uh, this one appears to be from 2003 or 2004. I forget how to read that in the moment, but I don't believe this would be original. Here's the power cord. And actually, this is a uh, a more recent power cord. Maybe this telephone was one of the last, uh, the later ones that were produced. Here is a, um, a line core, which is disgusting. I don't understand why these are always disgusting. The manual is in there. Here's the original manual, which is actually is in beautiful condition. I don't even want to put that on the bench. Here's the base unit, also in very nice condition. It did not include the, um, ah, that makes sense now. That's why the battery is newer, the power supply is newer. Um, it's a refurbished model. Okay, that's it. We got everything in here. So, um, here we have the base. The only thing this did not come with is the um, the, the mount uh, plate for these. I happen to have one. It's, it's white. It's not the right finish. But if you want to use this on the wall, <coughs> excuse me, or if you wanted to use it um, in the vertical position like this, you need the bracket. But I like to use it in this position anyway, so that's fine. It doesn't have the bracket. It does have belt clip, which is cool. Actually, this whole thing is in, is in pretty nice condition. This is not very dirty at all. And there's not a whole lot of wear indicators on it. The antenna is in, intact and in good condition. So, this would have been refurbished in the early, early to late, or bleh, early to mid 2000s. So, this battery may still be good. And then, this is one of the newer power adapters. I don't think this is what it would have originally come with. Uh, but, anyways, there's that. Very cool telephone. And then, of course, um, the manual. I'll show that in a minute. I'm not sure if this is the original cord or not. Here's the original manual. We have the manual, excuse me, in Spanish on one side and in English on the other. And we have the uh, warranty service card. It's kind of cool. What in the world was that? Um, let's see here. Yeah, this manual is phenomenal. Look at this. Not a single wrinkle on any of the pages. Wow. The ones that you get brand new don't even look this nice usually. I'm going to put that right upstairs in the manual folder. This telephone, I did not know this particular system ever existed. Nothing extremely exotic other than uh, one aspect of it.
This is a three handsets analog 900 set. And I'm curious as to what the model number is. Because I don't remember offhand. But, um, looks like all the antennas have survived. I did write into them and inform them that the antennas need to be packed securely, and it looks like they uh, took my advice. So hopefully the antennas are all good. This one has uh, survived. Survived the trip okay. Okay, looks like this one uh, survived the trip as well. And this one's right as well, so we are three for three on successful packaging. So these are, um, let's see here, where's the model number on this? Maybe on the base. So this set would have been from 2004. And interestingly enough, the, um, Hand says carrying the dash two model number, which is as high as I recall these going. I thought two hand sets was the most these ever came in. Now I suppose it is entirely plausible that this is a mix of different systems. Well, they're all the dash two, so and they're all from 2004E, so. I'm uh, beginning to think that it's not a mix. Okay, we have one handset charger. It's the one problem with good packing is it takes forever to get the stuff open. And I usually try to preserve the packaging because I use it when I send out other items. A little bit of money. So this should be the transmitting base, and it does appear to be so. <laughs> Look at that. It's a dash two.
This is so strange. So it is in fact, let's take a look at this model number here. It's a Dash 2 alright. And uh, now I have, I have an actual Dash 2 system on the shelf over here. And create this base. And you'll see the model number is DXI986-2. And this one is a 986-2. So they're both... I guess these are identical, so I don't understand how in the world, how, I don't, would it, this doesn't make any sense. This is definitely one exotic set, that's for sure. Well, I guess, um, I'll, do this, I'll test it out in another video because I forgot this was just an unboxing video. Alright, so those are the two new telephones. Both very neat telephones and pretty uncommon models as well.